Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another exciting video session. This is Andrew from Advanced PCs. All right, this is actually video number two on the same day. I just made a video, showed you guys about, about Windows Explorer and how to preview files in Windows Explorer. So while we're on the topic of Windows Explorer, I wanted to show you how you can open up multiple sessions of Windows Explorer using a shortcut key, all right? Now, here, let's say for instance, if you, let me open up a Windows Explorer session. So if you open up a folder here, right? And let's say you wanted to open up another session. Okay, one way you could do it. Okay, if you have this open and you say you want to open up another Windows Explorer session, you can always go to Start and then go to Computer. And then it'll open up another, another Windows Explorer session. Okay? But let me show you an even better way to have multiple sessions of Windows Explorer open. All right, so what you want to do is you want to hit the Windows key plus E, and there you go. That'll open up your session of Windows Explorer. If you want to open up another session, Windows key and the letter E, okay, E for Explorer, okay? So here you have two versions, or two sessions, rather, of Windows Explorer that's open, okay? Now let me show you another cool keyboard shortcut that you can that you can use let's say you wanted to organize them a little bit better you could do the Windows key again and let's just say we wanted this guy the one that's active the one that's at, uh, on, on top you want that one to go to the left so you would do the Windows key and the left arrow and it will put it to the left side of your screen and then you activate the other one okay and you want to do the Windows key and the right arrow so what that's gonna do is to put it side by side. Now, this falls perfect into, it's a good segue for the video I made about doing data backup, because doing data backup, this is a great way to do data backup, because hey, you can you can see exactly what you're transferring. So let's say this window shows the computer, your computer, the files you wanna transfer, the files you wanna backup, and all that good stuff. And on this side, let's say it's your, it's your external hard drive remember I, I, I talked about your external hard drive or connecting NAS or a thumb drive let's say you've connected those drives whichever one that you're using now what you will do is you just select it over on this side but I don't have any of those guys connected for this demonstration but you kinda get the idea of what I'm saying here right so you'll just pretty much just you know select the drive here and then it'll it should be pretty empty or, you know or open or whatever so you just drag and drop you know just drag and drop I'm not gonna do it here you know obviously but that's just essentially what you would do you could you could see exactly what you're transferring and you know where it's going so that's a great way to actually doing you know data backup so to speak alright and, and in addition to having the Windows keyboard the the, win, the, the, the keyboard shortcut for Windows Explorer alright so hopefully you found that information helpful I decided I want to give you guys a little bit more content, a little bit more value today. So two videos in one. Feel free, questions, comment. If you're viewing this on YouTube, you can leave your comments below. You can you can like, share the video. Also, subscribe to our channel. And you can reach out to us, www.advanced-pcs.com. All right. And that pretty much wraps it up for this week's video. All right, so until next time, take care of yourself. This is Andrew from Advanced PCs, and at Advanced PCs, we keep it simple.